you know, in all seriousness, everyone got hurt on this movie. Everyone was scarred, everyone went through, you know, a little bit of physical kind of pain. But if you're talking about something life-changing, something huge, so, you know, something that really had a deep effect on all of us, not only the person that it happened to, but the crew and most of the Western Hemisphere, Orlando breaking his rib was huge. He fell off his horse and the scale double of uh, uh, Gimli fell on top of Orlando and broke his rib. I'd scored an injury, do you know what I mean? I was the first one to score an injury and I think there was a little bit of jealousy that like, the Hobbits didn't get the opportunity, didn't get the opportunity to fall off a horse and break a rib. It's a painful thing and it's nothing to be sniggered at and when he told us we were, God, are you all right and stuff? It was painful, it was very painful. And then when he told us the next day, oh, that's terrible, it's not getting any better. Obviously it was just a rib and I went, went and had it checked out and I was on set again the next day, so it was fine. <laughs> just part of the job. A week later, crack rib? Oh, is it still cracked, is it? Right, OK. My lungs are hurting, I, I feel like my pancreas has been split, I think my spleen has been ostracised. I'm whinging. Oh, really? And all babes, all babes are hurt, and I can't ride the horse, and now babes... And since then, I've, I've heard it in a few interviews as well, and... Uh, <laughs> I think it's still healing. They can be fragile. The L's, particularly the Mirkwood strain. That's so funny. No, but seriously, I mean, it was about sucking it up and standing by your fellow man, elf or dwarf or hobbit, wizard, and giving it your best shot, and he certainly did. He certainly did.